Hello and welcome to Coastal Crafts. So I'm on with a little haul video. Um, it's slightly different because this is things that um, the company Queen of Craft have sent to me. So I kind of chose them and they sent them over for me to have a bit of a look at and see what I think. Their dies, um, some I really like, um, some I'm not sure that I will use now I've got them, but I think they're working on their dies. So yeah. It's good to have a look at other videos, isn't it, and see see what they offer. But they do say that if there's any issue with quality, that you can just contact them and and get your money back. So I guess that's kind of worry free, then, isn't it? Um, they sent a little notebook last time I did a um, a video for them. They also sent a little notebook. I think every time you do an order, you get a little gift, and the gift at the moment being these cute little notebooks. I don't like the bit that says mini notes. So if it were me, um, if I was going to use that, I would probably stick something on top. But I think what they would be better used for is um, decorating them and having them as your own notebook. Even though the cover is really cute, why not make it a bit more your own? So let's see what I chose. So first of all, I love paper pads, so I could not resist a six by six paper pad. This one's called It's Winter. And I think it's really pretty. It sort of reminds me a bit of kind of the, the Craft Box UK sort of style. So you get some of them that are backgroundy. Some of them have got more prominent figures. So you could sort of use that and have some more like a sentiment or image around it. Or you could die cut, not die cut, fussy cut out that image. That one's a nice background, isn't it? I like the way it's got little cakes and things. There are two of each. I have used a couple, so that's why. A missing view, another nice background one. This one with the houses. It's another nice background one. And the houses. You could imagine that in a, in a 12 by 12, couldn't you? Looking really lovely for a scrapbook page. But I think something is sort of in the middle and yeah, we're even just using those two bits separately. Really nice. And a, a big stag there in some snow. What have we got here? The fox and the house. And the fox is having a little playful time. Like that, it was that video, wasn't there? Like the fox and the, I think it was an advert. And all the animals got onto the trampoline and they were jumping around and they looked a bit like that. <laughs> There's the other one of that deer and the other one of the snowman. And this one's got some acorns. It's another nice background one. This one's lovely because it's got the little, what are they called? Ice skates and some mittens. So that's a really pretty paper. Um, I'm going to come back on and do a separate video, I have decided. I think I just said that, didn't I? Um, it's with what I make with it. So if you want to see what I create with it, do look out for that. Um, then I got some dies. So let's have a look at the dies. So first of all is this one. And the nice thing about these dies is they do come in these little packages. And I'm just going to leave them in these packages because they're quite sturdy um, and resealable. So this die is to make a little, I guess, almost like a McDonald's chip box. You know, where they put your fries into. So this is it cut out. You can see um, it would look much nicer, I think, if I did it in double-sided just looking at the light here, much nicer if I did it in double-sided paper. So um, that's what I will do next. And then you would just stick in some little gifts or stick in um, some happy, yeah, happy mail stuff or presents. Oh, it was so tired now. Um, I'll put all the links below. That's a really cute die. And it fits on a six by six piece of paper, which is always nice. Um, so just makes it easier to die cut, doesn't it? Um, and then this one I thought was very pretty. It is a snowflake one. I think I saw somebody else haul this one as well. So it's a snowflake, but it's slightly different. Oh, just pop out that extra bit there because it's got the banner bit on there where you put a sentiment. Um, so as you can see, oh, that's not showing up so well now. And see how pretty that is. I've done a holographic paper, which Maybe it isn't easiest to show up, but you can see how pretty that is. And then I felt that if I die cut it in a in like a white or something, just see if I've got that piece that I did die cut out, um, and make the banner stand out a little bit more. 
can't see where that's ended up now, but um, I'll show you when I come back on with some um, examples. But having that maybe in a different colour and then obviously stamping your sentiment there. Just really nice on the front of a parcel. We could even have a bow in the middle, maybe. So that's that die set. I really like that one. And then this one I thought would be really useful and I happen to, to not own it yet. And who doesn't need... Um, what do you call the word for when they're all inside the other when my brain has gone you know what I mean the sort of layering dies I guess layering could be I'm sure there's another word as well for when they all go inside one another so this is like a postage stamp I stuck it on the magnetic sheet or half magnetic sheets as it is just um, but I will still keep it in this one because I think that's really useful so you get one two three four five um, and they'd be best, you know, that would easily fit on a four by six card. But the smallest one is about your typical postage stamp size. So I think that'd be really nice. I cut a few of them out, have a bit of a think about it. I felt they'd probably look best maybe in, in plain for Christmas and then having, I don't know whether I would layer, yeah, that is the next one down, isn't it? Layer two, you could layer two postage stamps, couldn't you? I think I would probably go for just a straightforward rectangle in there to really make the most of it. And then a lovely picture on the front. So I can definitely see those being used a lot. Put that one back. And the last one was one that I wasn't so keen on. Like, I love the idea behind it. Obviously, it's swans and... Um, Swan dies. Well, see, they say on the back, don't they? Well, that one says on the back anyway. That one doesn't say on the back, but you can tell quite easily what they are. Um, that one doesn't say on the back, and that one doesn't say on the back, but this one does. But this one, unfortunately, I just find it so finickety to cut out. Um, so it doesn't cut out quite the way I had anticipated. So basically, it cuts into your cardstock. You can see I've lost a couple of pieces in the process of doing that. Um, I've got a few different, this one I didn't lose any pieces, but it's harder to see the contrast on it. And that one you can't see very well, but it's easier on film to see this one just missing a couple of bits. Um, and that being the issue that it comes in, it sort of die cuts out these two parts that you've then got to, to put back together again. I kind of, and it has all these extra odd little bits. I thought it was going to come as one whole outer silhouette sort of piece that you could stick on to another colour. I didn't realise it was going to be more lots of little bits that needed to be kind of put back together again. So um yeah, wasn't quite what I had imagined. It is, you know, it is lovely. I don't know. I just think it's a little bit too it, it needs to all be joined up, I feel. That's my personal feeling on that, that die set. I mean, I love swans and I still think you could probably make, definitely could make a lovely card from it. It's just not quite, yeah, not quite as easy to use as I would like it to be. That would be my feedback on that die. Um, and the thing is, there's no point in me doing this if I don't give you my honest feedback on what I like and what I don't like. And then lastly, I just picked up some sticker sheets. Um, I thought these would be useful to go on the back of my envelopes. So you get two sheets in there. It was something like 50p. Um, they are thin stickers, but they are gold foiled, which is always nice. Um, definitely cute. So these ones lovely for the back of envelopes and these ones as well. Um, and these ones I'd probably use as sentiments on a card. So I might stick them onto um, a bit of card to toughen them up and then probably just quickly cut round it. So yeah, just got a couple of stickers. So I will be back on um, next week to show you what I've made using these bits. So thank you Queen of Craft for um, sending these to me. Links are in the description below and I shall see you all very soon. Bye.